Wait, is McLaren going to build an SUV? They might. Lamborghini has a limited edition, limited edition supercar. That's because it's very limited, Eric. Wow. It's on the way. And some info on Bugatti's latest, plus a used Ferrari LaFerrari is for sale in Dubai, which means, hey, you might be able to get it for a decent price, right? Well, also, it's Thursday. So we have your FLD question of the day. Isn't that right, AK? Mm -hmm. Sent in from a fan. This one's from far away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D. Come join me for a walk in the fast lane. Daily. Sold out before it was even revealed, the Ferrari, La Ferrari, 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 got all kinds of attention from Ferrari lovers and buyers in a way that, you know, no other model from the company did in the past. That said, because of that exclusiveness, you know, some La Ferrari owners are looking to make a quick buck on their cars by swiftly selling them off privately. And the latest comes from deals on wheels in Dubai. I mean, of course it's in Dubai. My car is the equivalent of like a Geo Metro there. You know? Yeah. For real. Anyway, this 2014 model LaFerrari has just 2,175 miles and is painted in Rosso Corsa. It's a fancy way of saying red. Uh, are you interested in buying it? Well, the asking price for this V12 powered beast is $2.7 million or 9.99 million AED locally. Wow, a used car for 2.7 mil. Seems like a deal. Can I write you a personal check? Just have to hold it a couple days, so. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine what it's like to face the dilemma of considering buying a used Ferrari for $2.7 million. If you're able to knock off, say, $700,000 from that, which you wouldn't be able to, or the equivalent, that's the equivalent of 43 Chevy Cruises, you'd still be paying 127.4 Kia Souls which translates to $2 million. Being rich, must be nice. Must be. Must be nice. Mm -hmm. That Dubai money. Trying to get that Dubai money, dog. Bro. Trying to say goodbye in Dubai. Homie. Yeah. As you guys know, the Bugatti Veyron replacement will be called the Bugatti Chiron, the Chiron, the Chiron, however you want to call it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it will be revealed at the 2016 Geneva Motor Show but a lot of you have probably seen this already. Yep, that's generally it. There it is. Inspired by the Vision Gran Turismo concept car that made its debut at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September. Honestly, I just think it looks like a really updated Veyron. That's all. It's got a lot of similar design traits from the Veyron. But the Chiron will use a heavily updated version of the Veyron's turbocharged 8-liter W16. That means we're looking at around 1,479 horsepower, because I gotta tell you, I think 1,480 would just be too much. Yeah. It would be too much. So watch your back, Mr. McLaren P1, because the Boombody Bugatti Chiron is coming for you. Which will, oh, no crossover news in this one. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> yeah, it's a heavy, Heavy supercar episode of FLD today, so uh, oh, yeah. we're just going to keep that going. Mm -hmm. um, Lamborghini will be offering a limited edition supercar thing at the Geneva Motor Show in March. The model may be called the Centenario. Centenario, whatever you want to say. That's a rumor right now, but it makes sense because it will be presented at the 100th anniversary of founder Ferruccio Lamborghini's birth. So essentially his 100th birthday, if he was still alive. He's not. The tractor mogul uh, turned supercar maker was born on April 28th, 1916. He died February 20th, 1993. And that makes, he was 76 years old when he died. And he left behind quite the legacy. Only 20 versions of this car will be built and power will most likely come from a 6.5 liter V12. So it looks like it will follow in the footsteps of the Venino and Sesto Elemento. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Got to get those sword swings in there. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a, fun, it's a great sound. Right? Mm. Now, before you guys are like, oh, Derek, this is a crossover news. Oh, I'm a troll. It's not. Just listen. McLaren, and I hope this is a rumor, 
but I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't. It's possibly working on an SUV, not a crossover, an SUV. Auto, according to Autocar, McLaren could make more outlandish models than its current sports car range. That includes cars with four-seaters and SUVs. The models would probably come to life thanks to McLaren Special Operations, or MSO. Uh, that's according to chief designer Robert Melville, who said, Over the last few years, most people at McLaren have at some point been asked about SUVs, four-seaters, and motorbikes. He went on to say that a four-seat SUV is possible, but only at a cost of, quote, millions and millions of pounds. You kidding me? Wow. Millions and millions of pounds? Hmm. That's way more than just U.S. dollars and millions and millions. Who's going to buy an SUV for that? Crazy. Just recently, McLaren said they won't be making cheaper models to compete with cars like the Porsche Cayman. I got to tell you, though, Mick, We'd rather see that than some dumb SUV, right? Right. Make a more affordable McLaren instead of an SUV. Oh, no, we can't do that. It's, uh, it's too cheap. Yeah. All right. Peasants. All right. It's time for your FLD question of the day. Isn't that right, AK? Bring it on, Derek D. Is that your question? Bring it on? Bring it on. Well, I'm about to bring it on right now. Yeah. Question answered. Hashtag FLD. Okay. Let's get right into it. Hi, Derek D. My name is Gail from Thailand. I'm a big fan of Fast Lane Daily. Well, hello there, Gail. Wow, all the way from Thailand. Awesome. Nice. What's the capital of Thailand, Erica? Bangkok. I, I want to say that, but I felt like that's wrong. <laughs> it's that joke and then you hit someone in the junk. Oh, that one? Okay. <laughs> well, that's, you know, you know why? It's because FLD is a global show. You know, that's how we roll, AK. Thailand, I mean, we're global. Anyway, it looks like you're standing in front of an Audi R8. Very nice. So, what is your question? I have a question for you. If you like to come to the beach, what car would you like to shoot? Ah, I see. Well, essentially, you're asking, what car would you like to take to the beach? Well, I'm a beach kid through and through. I still live by the beach. But I have a feeling you're going to give me some options with those cars behind you. So, go ahead, Gail. This is the first option. All right. Turbo S. Oh. Lamborghini, Ferrari, BMW, Ferrari Z, and GTR. Which is my choice? How about you? Thank you. Oh, well, you're very welcome. And whoa, that's pretty awesome. Uh, where are you that you have a lineup of cars just chilling like that? You know, I mean, I don't. I don't maybe she. I, <laughs> I know if she's in Thailand, I get that. I mean, specifically, where is she? Oh, Derek, she's in the... Anyway, so your question was, what car would you like to take to the beach? And we could totally go down that rabbit hole of Jeep Wranglers and off-roaders. Uh, Erica suggested a VW Thing earlier. That's a very beachy car. Yep. Uh, because those are all, like, beach vehicles. But I'm going to stay with the list that you gave, Gail. And we can only pick from that list. So I'm assuming you mean what kind of car do you want to cruise Ocean Ave in? down by the beach. You know what I mean? All right, so you said an Audi R8, it was a black Audi R8, a black Porsche Turbo S, a yellow Lamborghini Murcielago, a yellow Ferrari 458 Italia, a BMW 5 Series, a Nissan Fairlady 370Z, Nissan Z cars in Japan are called Fairlady Zs, and a Nissan GTR. And if I'm not mistaken, way in the beginning of your video next to the Audi R8, that is a red Porsche Cayenne GTS. Quite the choices you have. Uh, which one did you pick again? GTR. Which is my choice? How about you? That's right. uh, oh, how about me? Well, <laughs> you like the GTR. Uh, that would be, no, that wouldn't be my choice. It's a good choice, not my choice. First off, I don't think any are convertibles, if I looked at that video correctly, or spiders. Uh, so I think I'd go with the black Audi R8. This has always had a thing for that car. Although, the Ferrari 458 Italia is a close second, but I'm not a big fan of it in Ferrari yellow. I know that's the original like Ferrari yellow, but it's a close second. Uh, AK, what about you? 458. 458? I don't care what color. But there was the, uh, the, the Porsche Turbo S. There was a Ferrari in the list. Well, yeah, because also, you know, you're cruising Ocean Ave. Yeah. It's not like you're opening that. it up or anything. Erica, what about you? I agree. I like the 458. 458 as well? Yeah. 
You don't want that Lamborghini Mercy? Nope. No? Yeah, I mean, I like the Mercy Lago. I've driven actually a yellow Mercy Lago just like that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the R8 or the 458 Italian. There you go. Um, anything else, Gail? Oh, thank you. No. Ah, okay. I didn't think so. Actually, I think her.